Hi guys. Well, what? I have no idea why my microphone is down here. It should up a little bit here. All right. So here are five things that you want to do before starting editing video with Fimura 11. Okay. So these are the things that I think most beginner may forget. Forget. No. Hi guys, welcome to another video on my channel. In this video, we're going to talk about five things you need to do before you want to start editing video with Filmora 11. Okay, so these are the things that I, I think, in my opinion, most beginners may forget to, to do before they start to make video, okay? All right, so the very first thing you need to do before starting making video with Filmora 11 is to create a free account with Wondershare. So it is very important to have a free account so that you can export your video. And of course, it will have a watermark on the output. By the way, it is possible to export your video. Do not edit your video, make video, add fancy text and image or stuff like that. And finally, you don't know how to export a video. Okay. And in order to create a free account with Wondershare, it is very simple. For example, here I have Filmora 11 here and this is my account. I already logged into my account and of course it is a paid account. All right. And if you want to purchase a license of Filmora 11, just follow the link in the description to get 20% discount coupon code from my website okay and if you want to create a new account for example I can just log out my account and click OK okay so you have a login button right here just click the login button and now you have an option here to create an account just click here and then you want to select your email address maybe your Gmail or anything confirm and then create a password so when you create a password remember to have cap logs and normal character and special character and also it's, it should be longer than six character okay so this is very important otherwise you cannot create the password right here and your first first name and last name and then you want to click here create account and your account is ready to go okay and the next thing you want to log in to your account in Filmora before starting editing video so that is the first thing you may need to do before you want to make video with Filmora 11 okay and the second thing is to enable the backup option in the program you know that editing video is a heavy work and your computer may crash or not responding or shut down unexpectedly or, or stuff like that so you have to make sure that you have a backup option and you can find the project on your computer and after that you don't lose your work okay in order to enable the backup option all you need to do is to go to file right here and then select reference and here at the save tab okay just click the save tab and you have the the backup option right here I got my project every one minute so one minute is the best option normally it would be five minutes by default okay so change it to one minute and also you have the backup folder right here if you want to to change it you can change it here also and then you want to click ok so that is the second thing you want to do before making video with Filmora 11 and the next thing is to copy all the video or footage from your phone your camera or stuff like that to your computer okay if you shot a video with a gopro camera dslr sony canon or your phone you may want to copy them to your computer first because if you don't copy them to your computer and you edit directly on phone or on your camera maybe you get some red marker when you close the project and start editing again okay so that is the third thing and the next thing you want to do is to double check your project setting so it is very important when you want to create a video you want to set up your project properly 
For example, if you want to make a YouTube video, you want to select 16 by 9 aspect ratio or 9 by 16 if you are creating YouTube short. And for TikTok, you want to create 9 by 16. For Instagram, you want to select the aspect ratio one by one. Okay, so in order to double check your project setting, it is very simple. Just go to File and then select Project Setting. So this is the first way to double check your project setting. Okay, just click here and you will have the project setting window right here and there's another way we use this option just select here and change project aspect ratio okay and you have the same window you want to change the aspect ratio and you want to select the resolution that you want to create okay and that is the fourth thing you want to do when you want to start editing video with Vimora 11 and finally do not forget to save your project whenever you import your footage to the software or you try and drop something onto the timeline. You need to save your project, otherwise it will disappear after you close the program. Okay? In order to save the project, it is very easy. You can go to File and then you want to click this option, Save Project. Or if you want to save it as a different name, you can click this option, Save Project as. All right, so here are five simple things you want to do before you want to make video with Filmora 11. I hope this tutorial is helpful for you. If you have any more questions, let me know in the comment section below. And thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe my video. Goodbye and see you again.